Here are some of the predictions for Oregon for 2022. The, you see the FPI has them at 8.6 and 4.1. Uh, so roughly, you know, eight and four, nine and three, somewhere in that range. They do give them a really good chance of going to the Pac-12 championship. Athlon has them at nine and three. The over/under is at eight and a half. You know, normally I would say with this team, nine and three. If surely they could go nine and three, but they have a pretty tough schedule. They play BYU and Georgia in the non-conference, and I think that is a big reason why that number is a little bit lower than you might would have have thought it would be. Now, this is an Oregon team I've talked about them. I think they're the top to bottom, maybe the most talented team in the Pac-12 when you look at every position. Uh, no real areas of weakness on this team. They've got a lot of depth. They've, Mario Cristobal left a lot of talent on this roster. I know they had some transfers after he left, but they also brought in some transfers. I think Bo Nix is going to be really good for them. A really an underrated quarterback. I know he's had his ups and downs, but when, he, when he's playing at his best, he is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And I think they're going to get the most out of him here at Oregon. We talked about that schedule. Here it is. Again, Georgia and BYU, both in the non-conference, both in those first three weeks. Uh, look at their road games, Washington State, Arizona, Cal, Colorado, Oregon State. So they did pretty well as far as home and away in the Pac-12. Most of their tougher games are going to be at home. UCLA, Washington, Utah, that bodes really well for Oregon. And because of that, I think there is potential for Oregon to have a really special year. I think even if they were to lose to Georgia, they could possibly win the rest of these games with so many big games at home, and they could be sitting there at 11-1 and at the end of the regular season, and who knows, maybe even make it to the college ball playoff and get a chance to play Georgia again if Georgia is there. That would be very intriguing, of course, but we'll start with that game against Georgia. It's in Atlanta. It's basically a home game for the Bulldogs. Uh, this is going to be a good one, and I talked about this in my Georgia prediction video. A lot of people think Georgia is going to roll. I think Oregon is going to be ready for this game. I think this Oregon team uh, is a little bit underrated. I think the talent is there for them to match up with Georgia fairly well. It'll be about Bo Nix. How does Bo Nix play in this game? I think Oregon's defense will be good enough to slow Georgia down a little bit, but can they score enough points on this Georgia defense? Can Bo Nix deliver? He's had his, his bright spots against Georgia. And his time in Auburn, not always great, but you know that he had the comeback one year where they almost came back, and uh, he has had flashes against them. And using his legs, I think, will probably be big in this game. But at the end of the day, in Atlanta, uh, George, I think, just a little bit too talented, a little too deep. I think they they find a way to get it done in the fourth quarter with a veteran quarterback in Stetson Bennett. It's close, closer than a lot of people expect, but I do think Oregon is going to fall to Georgia in this game, and I do think they will beat Eastern Washington. So I've got them starting off the season at 1-1. One and one. They play BYU after that, a veteran BYU team. Pretty good team, potentially a, a playoff crasher type team because they have the schedule to do it. I, there's so many tough games for them, though. I don't know if, if they can do it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great game here. But playing at home for Oregon, I think they're good enough to get it done. Close win. Bo Nix delivers late. He's proven that he can be clutch uh, in the past. I think he is clutch in this game, and they get the win over BYU. Washington State up next on the schedule. On the road, uh, a tricky game, tough place to play. Washington State not getting a lot of hype going into this year, but they've got some playmakers, a new quarterback for them that I think is going to be big. And so I think this game will be pretty competitive. It's maybe one of those upset alert games for Oregon. Better watch out. Coming off of that big one over BYU with Stanford coming up next. A Stanford team that I think is going to be pretty good. You don't want to overlook this Washington State team on the road. But I think Oregon will take care of business. It'll be a pretty close game, but they find a way to get it done. They beat Washington State. Then they'll move on to face Stanford. Home game for Oregon. I just mentioned I think Stanford's going to be pretty good this year. A lot of production returning. A lot of experience on this roster. I know, they, I know they've had their down years. I think this is an up year for Stanford. I think they're going to be pretty good, potentially a top 25 team. Good news for Oregon. Talked about this earlier. They get the game at home, and that will be huge. I think they get it done at home against Stanford. And another close game. I think all these games outside of Eastern Washington to start off the season, I think all these games are going to be close. Uh, if you want to see some high drama, some great games, watch Oregon this year because I think they're going to have a lot of them. But they do get the win over Stanford, improve to 4-1. and one. Then it's a road game against Arizona. Uh, Oregon should be the better team. I know we have seen them get upset in the past, and this could be one of those spots potentially. 
I, I just don't really see it happening. You got a, a bye week the next week. All their focus should be on Arizona. I think they, uh, they'll pull away in the second half, and they'll get a win there to improve to 5-1. and one. Up next is UCLA, a home game for Oregon. You get the bye week before this one. That'll be big home game. You know, a lot going for Oregon in this one. UCLA is going to be good this year, I think, but not good enough to go on the road and, and get this one. I think Oregon gets the win, and that's going to get them to 6-1. and one. Next game on the road at Cal. Not very high on Cal this year. They'll be, you know, they'll be well coached. They'll be a solid team, a team that's maybe right there on the borderline and making it to a bowl game, uh, but not good enough to win this game. Oregon, the better team. They should take care of business. They should win this game. And really the same thing against Colorado. Oregon is just the better team. And like I said earlier, they get four of their easier opponents in the Pac-12 all on the road which is good because you feel like they can go on the road and win these games and they get their tougher opponents at home. I'm telling you, this schedule sets up for Oregon to make them potentially a playoff team this year. Uh, don't sleep on the Ducks. A lot of people talking about USC and Utah. Don't sleep on Oregon. Don't sleep on Washington either. I think Washington's going to be a good team. They play them next. Uh, this will be a hard-fought game. It usually is. I know Washington has, has had some rough years as of late. But I think this will be a close one. Oregon, though, at home, I think that's the difference. They get this win over Washington, and they improved to 9-1, and one, really rolling at this point before playing Utah, a team that they just could not could not beat last year, really struggled against Utah. This year they get them at home. They'll have a great opportunity to knock off Utah. I talked about this in my other videos. Don't pay so much attention to the wins and losses as far as who they come to. I make my record predictions, then I go back and fill all of this in. Looking at this game, I'd probably say, yeah, Oregon, they, they I think they probably find a way to get this done, but to make my predictions work out, I needed to give them a second loss because I do think they will lose two games, and it made sense for me to put it here. So I'm going to give them a loss to Utah, and then they finish up with Oregon State. I had a thought about this game. I think this is probably going to happen. They're going to ask Bo Nix about this rivalry and he's going to say, oh, I played in the Iron Bowl. This is nothing. And it's going to fire up those Oregon State players. And I wouldn't be surprised if Oregon State pulled off the upset here. I'm not going to pick it, though. To make my predictions come out right, again, I had to, to move games around. And I guess I needed another loss for Oregon State. Needed a win for Utah. That's just how it worked out. So I'm going to say that they beat Oregon State. My original thoughts, though, were really that maybe they'd lose to Georgia and then lose to Oregon State at the end. So either way, I think they do lose to Georgia. I think they will lose to either Utah or, or Oregon State. I think between those two games, they will split. It'll get them a 10-2 record. With only one conference loss, you would have to imagine that's going to be enough to get them into the Pac-12 championship. But if they can beat both Utah and Oregon State, I think they win the rest of these games. Even with a loss to Georgia, they could be 11-1 going into that Pac-12 championship with a chance to make the college football playoff. I think they slip up somewhere. I'm going to say two losses. So 10-2, my prediction for Oregon in 2022.